laboratories. When the term laboratory is said, what we know or what you would be knowing is the most common medical laboratory or the healthcare laboratory. Apart from that, there are a lot of laboratory, laboratory for the food industry, laboratory for testing the water. I can go on with the list and today in this video, we're going to give you an update on the top seven laboratories in the world today. The first one is the analytical or the quality laboratory. What happens when a product has to come into the market? Before it comes into the market, it will go into the quality or the analytical laboratory to check whether all the specifications are met properly and it is devoid or it doesn't have any impurities. This is what done in a quality or the analytical laboratory. Second comes the biosafety laboratory. In the biosafety laboratory, they would be testing the toxins and the drugs and it's a very containment area. And here, the laboratories are classified from one to four. That is, biosafety laboratory one to four, there are different grades and these are according to the setup they are going to plan for testing these toxins and other harmful substances to the environment. The third is the clean room laboratory. A clean room laboratory is most commonly found in the manufacturing units of biomedical equipments. Here, this room is mainly maintained so that the precise things what they are going to do with these biomedical instruments are not contaminated with the outside air. This is what done in the clean room laboratories. Fourth comes the clinical or the medical laboratory. We commonly know this clinical or medical laboratory is most common where we test the blood and urine. It can be for the human and also for veterinary. It starts from normal analytical uh, a medical laboratory to genetic testing. All these list of laboratories also come under the medical or the clinical laboratories. The fifth type of laboratory in this series is the incubation laboratory. Incubation laboratory is the laboratory where all these cell and tissue cultures are made and here these are all automated systems where the oxygen, the carbon dioxide and the humidity are monitored 24 bar 7 in this laboratory. Next one that is the sixth laboratory we also call it as the production laboratory. This is a scale up laboratory that is it is a scale up laboratory before it goes into the R&D laboratory or the research uh, laboratory. Also before a product or a, a food or an, uh, you know a biomedical instrument before it goes in for a mass production they would actually produce it in this production laboratory and give it for testing. This is what they do with the production laboratory. The last but the most sought for and the important laboratory is the research and the diagnostic laboratory and the top four researchers presently in this world are the crop, seed, material and the life sciences. These are the top seven laboratories in 2022 and we will give you an updated list next year. And thank you for watching our channel. If you want to establish any of these laboratories or if you want guidance in establishing or upgrading, upscaling your existing laboratory or diagnostic setup, you can always contact us at pathlabstartup at gmail.com. This is Dr. Lalita Sindhal signing off.